Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here and I went to a toy show so I got some older stuff which is really cool. Some older uh, Hot Wheels sets and green light raws which are kind of neat and I got some newer stuff or new stuff green light and uh, Johnny Lightning and M2s. Yeah I got some pretty neat stuff this weekend so we're going to take a look. I'm going to try and go as fast as I can because I got quite a bit but uh, we got M2s here. These are auto trucks. This is release 75. And the first one here is a 1974 Chevy K5 Blazer, done in uh, yellow and white with the black interior. This thing is very, very nice. I like the colors on this truck. I think it looks good. Very nice looking truck. It's the front of her, side of her, there's the back of her. It's a nice looking truck. I like it in that yellow and white. Awesome. Nice job. And then we have the 1988 GMC Sierra 1500 done in red with the uh, off-white sides. I guess it's a two-tone with the uh, red interior. Again, a very sought-after vehicle for sure. I've seen posts where people are looking for it. So yeah, it might be a hard one to get. I know they've come out with a new set of these. The whole set is these uh, GMC or Chevy trucks. I don't know if we're going to see them in Canada, but uh, I'm sure they're going to be pulled right off the shelf as soon as somebody sees them. But yeah, that's a pretty cool truck. Not bad. And then we have the 77 Datsun pickup truck in blue with the black stripe. It doesn't look bad in this blue. I like it. it looks all right. This casting has been around for a while. I haven't got it in this blue. I do now. It's pretty cool. Don't mind that at all. It's got black interior in it. It's the back of her. Not bad. Very nice looking truck. This one here is pretty cool. I like this one. But I see it still on the shelves. They're leaving this one behind. This is a 1960s Volkswagen single cab truck. It's done in a two-tone green. Which is kind of neat. But it's slammed to the ground. And it's got a really short box on it. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. But uh, they don't seem to be very popular, that's for sure. I see a lot of them still on the pegs or on the shelves. But I think it looks all right. Not a bad looking machine. Not too bad. It too has got black interior in it. It's all right. I like it. This one here is just cool. I like this. This is a 76 Ford Bronco in orange with a black stripe and white top. It's got white interior. This thing is really sharp. This one really pops too. I think this one is very nice looking truck. There's the front of her. She is the older Bronco. But that is just awesome. The colors suit it. I don't know. They just look good. That's for sure. The colors on this truck are awesome. Nice looking truck. Very nice. And then we have the 65 Ford Econoline truck. This casting has been around for a long time. Just a different color. It's still pretty cool. I like it. Not too bad. It's got black interior. It's alright. They say this casting has been around for a while. And they're still pumping her out. It's alright. I don't mind that at all. It's alright for sure. Okay, I got a random act of kindness from George, and he gave me this here. I love hooker headers. It's a 1967 Chevy Novas, and uh, those things are just awesome. Look at that. That is awesome. Love it. It's kind of an off-white with black interior. The thing is nice. It says 572 Chev on the hood. There's the front of her. Just awesome. Like this set. Very nice. It's all tubbed out in the back. And there's the uh, bottom one, which is a gasser. Done in gray with the black interior. Just a nice set. Just awesome. I absolutely love it. And uh, this gave, was given to me from George. Thank you very much, George. That's awesome. Love it. Now, I haven't seen the rest of this set yet, but I'm hoping to find it. This this set here is really nice. That thing is awesome. Love it. And I got something 
this here, this is a first for me getting this great big motor home. I don't have any in my collection and I got one now. And I think that is pretty cool. That is just awesome. A big old motor coach. First one for my collection. I've seen this at the toy show. So I, yeah, I gotta do it. I just don't have one. A brown interior. Very neat. I like this thing. This will go great with the diorama. So that is awesome. This is Route 66. Nice. 2016 Fleetwood. Awesome. And with that, actually, I found another motorhome thing. 73 Winnebago. And this is the fire department. I never seen it before. And you know, like I said, I don't have any of these big campers in my collection. And you know what? Why not? This thing is awesome. Done in red and white. Nice command unit. This one here is. And it it's just awesome. Let's look at that thing. Very unique. I like that. Lots of detail to it. It's the back of her. Yeah, that thing's just cool. So now I finally got two of these motorhomes. So that's kind of neat. Awesome. And then, actually I'm going to show you this diorama I got. Waikiki Beach Summer Bash. These are rods. This is open. I'm going to see if I can just get it open all the way. Let's show you what this is. These are rods. Now, I seen it was the Vista Cruiser there. And I just, yeah, I got to get that. That was the only one I was really interested in was that one there. But I grabbed the whole set. So we got the Vista Cruiser. And we got a little uh, Volkswagen van pickup truck back there. Just cool. And then we got a Jeep back in the back renegade i guess and the bronco and yeah there's no paint on these little bits of like accent paints but uh that is just a cool set i like that and uh yeah i couldn't leave it there that's pretty cool that vista cruiser is just awesome love it the surfboard on there very nice awesome 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 and got that one and I got another one from the same guy and it's this one here I don't know if I'm gonna get it open or not but uh, this one here is uh, campsite cruisers I don't know how this one really opens here we go maybe get her open I got this one because of the Dodge truck it's got the camper on it I think that is awesome. Again, it's raw. It's got green wheels, so it is a chase. That is cool. I've never seen it with the camper. That's the first one seeing it. First time ever seeing it with the camper. I think that's awesome. And again, it has the uh, the Jeep in the back, which is all right. And another Volkswagen with the uh, a pop-up on the top there, which is kind of cool. All green wheels are again no paint on them it's kind of a neat little diorama I guess set but I think that's just cool I got it just more or less for that truck right there because I haven't got one of those I think that's just awesome nice little unit for sure love it and that came from the same uh, same guy at the uh, toy show actually I'm not going to have time to put that away so we'll just carry on here and then I got, right here, I got Bazooka. This is uh, M2s. This is Release 91. This is the Auto Driver set. I did manage to get all four of them. This was the last one I had to find. I did find it. This is a 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi Bazooka. Thing is awesome. Love it. Black interior. That thing is just cool like that that is going to be the hard one to find for sure because that one there is just awesome she's definitely going to be sought after this one she's going to be a tough one to get that is awesome love it nice and with that we got the 1949 mercury custom 
which this casting has been around for quite some time as well. And uh, yeah, it's just cool. Slammed. Very nice. I like that. Black and red. Marvel Mystery Oils. Awesome. There's a card art. Not much to it, but it is something, I guess. And then Malari. Malari, I guess it's 68 Chevy Pontiac. Or 68 Pontiac Firebird 400 HO. This casting has been around for a while again as well. This is just a new paint scheme. Still pretty cool car. Awesome. Like that. Very, very cool. And then the last one to that set is right here. A 1956 Ford F100 truck. And it's done in that baby blue. I'm not a fan of that with the white top. It's got blue interior. But the truck itself, it's just an awesome casting. I do like it for sure. There it is. Still, it looks good in the blue, but it's just not one of my favorite blues, that's for sure. Yeah, pretty cool. I was glad to see the whole set. Well, I didn't get to see the whole set because I've had these for about a week and I just got the bazooka one. So, yeah, I finally got it. I was happy, happy with that. We'll do some newer stuff here. We got um, special edition. This is Shell. This is Series 1. Now, I didn't get them all. I missed out on the... Uh, the Wrecker and the Nissan Skyline, but I did get a few of these. The first one here, we got the uh, 2022 Ford Mustang Mach 1, which is done in shell, done in the white and the yellow, black interior. Very, very cool. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for the rest of this set because i got to get the last two for this because this is uh, Series 1. So I'm guessing there will be more of these. I think it's just awesome. Nice car. And then we got the 2019 Ford GT. Again, awesome. Nice casting of this car. Yellow and red. Very nice. White wheels. It's a cool casting of this car. And Green Light did a nice job with this one for sure. Awesome. Very nice. And then we have the 78 Volkswagen Rabbit, which Again, these ones, you know, this casting has been around for a while. It doesn't look bad in this yellow and red. Done in shell, black interior. Yeah, it's not too bad. There's the front of her, if you can see in there. A little bit. Not bad. Pretty cool. As I said, I missed two cars out of this set, which I have to find. This is a 1996 Ford Escort. Crossworth. Again, pretty cool car. I just seen a program on this car, and uh, yeah, it's it was quite a car in its day, for sure. A lot of people were stealing this one. That's pretty neat. Kind of a neat history on this car, for sure. There you go. Not bad, all in yellow. Not too bad. And then I picked up some this older stuff. It stars skin hutch which I already have this one, but I don't have it in this, uh, I don't know if it's weathered or dirty version. So, uh, yeah, I got it in the dirty version. I have it in the clean version for sure. But it's almost like the paint's faded and stuff like that, but I think it's supposed to be dirt on it. 76 Ford Gran Torino. Of course, I know this show. I grew up on this show, I guess. I remember watching it when I was younger. Pretty cool. Nice car. Awesome car. And of course we got Starsky and Hutch. I do have this casting, but I didn't have it in a green machine. And now I have it in a green machine. So there's the green wheels there. There's the green base. And that is the green machine. 69 Ford F100. Starsky and Hutch. Right there. Pretty cool. I collect these Ford trucks. And yeah, now I have the green machine in that truck. And then this one here is a little bit different. <sighs> I just picked this up at the toy show. I'm thinking that this is a Target exclusive, I guess. It would be a green machine, but it's not because it's got the red wheels. So I'm guessing it's Target. I don't know. It's a 1986 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. 
Now I tried looking it up. I can't find any with the red wheels. There's a base is red as well. And uh, I'm thinking it's a Target exclusive green machine type car. Like I got the uh, Ford truck there last weekend from uh, Adam and Anderson, which is just awesome because it had the blue wheels. Now this one here's got the red wheels, and I'm thinking that this is a Target. But anyways, there's the uh, card art. I do have the original, the original version of this. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And I finally got the last one I needed for Yellowstone. This is a 2017 Ram 3500 Laramie Dually. Now this one here is quite sought after for some reason. I had a hard time finding this. And I ended up finding it at the toy show. And I paid a lot of money for it. Which... You know, if you need it, you need it, you know, to keep your collection going. And, uh, yeah, I did. This is a cool truck and all. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a sought after, this one, that's for sure. It is cool, though. Brown, black interior, Yellowstone. Yeah, it's a nice truck. It's quite popular, that's for sure. There's the card art, not much to it. Yeah. Okay, so let's try this Hot Wheel thing. Pick this up at the toy show too. This is a snake. You know, it's uh, it's one I found. It's not. It's old, but it's not super old. It's in '96, I believe. I'm gonna open it up. So it doesn't matter. And it's got the tire. It's turning yellow a bit here, but uh, it don't matter. Still a pretty cool car, and I do like the snake and mongoose stuff. And uh, yeah, so I had to get it. So I just got to find the mongoose, I guess. I have snake now in this carded one. I've got quite a bit of the snake and mongoose stuff, and I just keep going with it. This one here's uh, 93. So this is from 93. Awesome. I like it. And of course, it's done on the old card, which is kind of cool. Oh, very unique, you know, I would like it. Snake and Mongoose is my thing. I like that stuff. It's drag racing. So, yeah, awesome. And then I got this here, Johnny Lightning, at the show as well. This one here, I've got a lot of Johnny Lightning stuff, and uh, I didn't know they made a Porsche. And this is my first Porsche that I have in Johnny Lightning. And actually, it's a pretty cool one. It's a 1985 Porsche 911. Done in red with the black interior. This thing is awesome. I absolutely love it. I think they did a great job with this car. Like I said, I don't see a lot of stuff like this from Johnny Lightning. Not uh, not Porsche. This is my first Porsche. So when I seen it, it was like, oh, I got to have that. Because I've never seen Johnny Lightning Porsche before. And uh, I think they did a nice job. Very nice. That thing is awesome. So I got one. Nice. Love it. And uh, do this here. Johnny Lightning while I'm on them. This is a Moon Eyes. Again, this is older. Um, it's Moon Eyes, which I collect this Moon Eyes stuff. This is a 1958 Plymouth Fury. Awesome. It says Moon on the back fender there. That thing is awesome. Love it. And like I said, these are older, but I did get the set. So that is pretty cool. Black interior. Kind of a yellowy color. Nice car. Like that. And then we got the dragster right here. 1960s dragster it says. Pretty cool. I have quite a few of these rail cars. Now I have a, one in it's carded in its moon eyes. It's just pretty cool. It comes with a sticker. That's pretty neat. And here's another one of them. This is the 1932 High Boy. It's done in red with the black interior. Again, Moon Eyes. Awesome. Pretty cool car. This is what I'm used to seeing for Johnny Lightning, the older stuff. You know, the neat old stuff. This here, the Willys, 41 Willys. Awesome. I don't know about this one. It looks like the paint might be popping off of this one a little bit but uh, you know what it don't matter it's still pretty cool 
it's a nice find I like it you don't see a whole set like this very often of the older cars at least I don't anyways and then we got the uh, 1950s Ford pickup done in the yellow and white awesome again very very cool I think that's fantastic it's a good looking truck for sure it's a, it's a whole set here and this is the only one that's not yellow and it's done in silver and this is a 1960 Shelby Cobra and uh, yeah all it's got for the moon eyes equipment is right there in the back trunk lid there's a little set of eyes back there that's the only thing it's got on it that's pretty cool and it's not yellow it's silver so it's a little different but it's all right nothing wrong with that and it is the moon ice okay we got that done actually i'm going to show you some mystery models which i'm going to have to open this is the newest set that just came out it's called number two i guess uh, show you the package there's the package mystery models two i don't know if well you see it but it's brand new and I think this one might be number one. This is number one. I'm going to open them up. And it is Dodge. Let's zoom in on that one a little bit there. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to look it up and see exactly what it's called. I think it's uh, Australian or Brazil Dodge Charger. In green, black interior, very cool, very cool. Good looking car for sure. I just grabbed one, two, and three because that seems to be the hot ones. And this one here is number two. And it is a 1969 uh, Chevy pickup truck down in orange. Island tours on the side there, kind of cool. Very nice, got tan interior and exterior. It's a good looking truck for sure. Very nice. And then, yeah, everybody's after one, two, and three. That's why I just grabbed one, two, and three. I didn't really go through the rest of them, but as soon as I seen one, two, and three, I just grabbed them. That is pretty cool. And the last one here is a custom Volkswagen Beetle. Done in the blue and like a wood grain on the side there. Pretty cool. I like this casting has been out for a while too. Just different paint job. Still pretty cool. I like it. Very nice. Alright, so that's the three mystery models that I got. It's one, two, and three. This is the uh, package, I guess. Mystery bottles number two. Like I say, I didn't get them all, but that's uh, oh, they got the bone shaker. I guess I'm gonna have to go look for that one. I didn't realize it had a bone shaker in it. So, number four is pretty good, too. But that's all right, pretty cool. So, I got one, two, and three. Now I gotta go look for number four. This is a bone shaker, huh? All righty, so. Move along here. I got a couple of these things. This is Hard Rock Cafe. I'm going to move my camera back a bit. Right there. And it's actually a hard plastic case. And we got a, well, it's Cars of the Hard Rock Cafe. It says Car Set. It's an older set. We got a 57 Eldorado. Now, they got the elastic band still on them, which is kind of eh, touchy. I'm going to have to open her up and see if I can get these bands off without any damage. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But the reason I bought it was this here, 63 Hurst. I've never seen this Hurst in uh, Hot Wheels. Now, I don't think it's 164 scale. They seem a little big, but uh, it's got a blue steering wheel and everything in it. That thing is just cool. I like this Hurst. I think it's awesome. I wish you could see it a little better. Yeah, she's got flames on her. That is one cool car. And then we got a 59 Woody. Again, with the elastic bands on it, 
So I got to try and get them off. Hopefully it's not going to do any damage, but uh, you never know. And it's done in green. And it's kind of a neat green. It's kind of a pearly green, I guess. But yeah, big white wall tires on them. The thing is awesome. But that hearse is what got me to this one. And of course the caddy's not too bad. So yeah, that's all three there and that sat. I think that is just awesome. Kind of a neat set. I've never seen these sets before. So these are first for me. And of course I got this one because this is Reggie's car. So this is Reggie Jackson. And you know his cars all went up in flames a while back. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Reggie's cars it's called. That is just awesome. I should have paid attention to the names of these cars. I'm thinking that's Dodge. Uh, this is here's a Chevy, probably 55. I don't know. It's kind of a custom front on it. That's pretty cool. Again, all the elastic bands are on it. And uh, I'm hoping they come out. There's a lot of nice detail in these cars. I think it's a really nice set. Very cool. And then there's, I believe it's an old Ford. I don't know really to tell you the truth. Done in black. And there, another little hot rod there in the back. Just cool. This this is Hot Rod Series 2, it says. Um, yeah, I'd like to find more of these because I think that is just neat. It says multi piece vehicle from first run tooling. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Yeah, this is Reggie's Cars, it's called. And uh, yeah, that's why I grabbed it. Just because it is Reggie Jackson's stuff. And I know he lost his collection. And yeah, that's all right. I like it. And then we'll get into some almost done. My goodness, this is a long video. So I got some... The last ones I needed this. This is the 50s and fins. I have the other version of it. 1959 DeSoto. And we got the 56 Chevy Bel Air convertible in red. Pretty cool. I do have the original. Or not the original. I have version A of this. And this is my version B finally. It's not bad. It's kind of an odd color on this here DeSoto. But that's uh, yeah, not too bad. The red... 56 is pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's a two pack from Johnny Lightning, 50s and fins. Pretty cool. Not bad. And to get some stuff from the toy show again here, this is a 1984 Mercury Hurst. Or Mercury Hurst, oh my goodness. 1984 Hurst Owls. My goodness. The video's too long. I'm losing my mind already. Which is pretty cool. It's gray with the black interior. It's the first time I've ever seen this one. So that's why I picked it up. It's pretty cool. Actually, uh, Mrs. 519 had this in her hand. And she also had this one in her hand. Which is pretty cool. This is a mail-in from Walmart. And she set them down. So I picked them up. <laughs> I know she said she was going to comment on this. So I'm just giving you a fair warning that, yeah, she's going to say something bad probably. But that is just cool. This is a Zymac edition, 2016 mail-in from Walmart. Drag racing car. Awesome. Just love it. Zymac. This one here does not open by looks of it. Mm. Oh, it might. Yeah, it might open. Yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. Love it. That'll teach her for setting things down, I guess. But I grabbed it after she dropped it. <laughs> so, I got a couple neat things here. This is Illinois Patrol Funny Car. And this is Beat the Heat Incorporated uh, Racing for Education. So, it's drag racing, it's police. I actually picked this up for Adam and Anderson because they have uh, got quite a collection of police cars. And this is a drag racing one. I don't know if they have it or not, but I picked it up for them. So that's a 
pretty cool. I like it. It is drag racing, so I'm all over it. And then I got this Cop Rods, Atlanta Police. This is pretty cool. Again, not bad. It's a GTO 67. Done in white with black interior. Pretty cool. Another one for the, the boys in Michigan. I'm going to send them. And then I got the new Boulevard set, which was awesome. Excited, excited, excited for this one. I just got it tonight. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I'm up to date. I know they've released another one now, but I'm up to date this far anyways to 70. And this is a 20. 20 Ford Shelby GT500 in white. This is number 66 from the Hot Wheels Boulevard set. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. Now see that uh, it's got uh, blue striping on it. And then it fades to nothing on the top, which is pretty cool. Nice car. Like it. I was really surprised to find the whole set. It's like, wow. That uh, is awesome. So that's 66. 67 is the uh, Volkswagen Caddy. It says Porsche on the side. Pretty cool. It's got the skateboard in the back. It's really neat. Just cool. Just a cool car. Or Volkswagen, I guess. 67. Number 68 is the van, Dodge van, done in black with the flames. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool looking van for sure. Looks fantastic in this black, which I would think it would be quite sought after. Like I said, I did find the whole set, which is exciting. There's the card art there. Awesome. It says uh, Hot Wheels fire protection on the side of it there. Just noticed that. And then number 69 is the 98 Subaru Impreza. Down in yellow, black interior, pretty cool. Not a bad looking car at all. Pretty nice. And there's the card art right there. Not bad, you know. I do have all the boulevards. I think that's a fantastic. And then there's this one. This one here is the one that quite sought after is the... Uh, Nissan Skyline, done in white. This is quite a popular car for some reason. You know, it is cool and all. I don't mind it. But uh, I can't believe how many people are after these Skylines. It's just crazy. Yeah, that's uh, the new Skyline. Black interior, white exterior, Liberty Walk, Nissan. Card art is actually really nice on that. That's cool. So why would you open it with card art like that? You know, I like it. Awesome. Well, I guess we're going to leave it at that. So I guess, uh, you know, if you like that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See ya.